Hey everyone, I have about 10 minutes till my next client gets here, so I figured I would do a um, loose curl tutorial. Um, my hair is just blow dried, and um, I kept it this way because I want to wear it this way today. So that just helps keep the volume. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna use a heat protectant and a spray to give us grip so that curl stays. And I love the um, Living Proof Flex Hairspray. It's a heat protectant and very lightweight. You don't really feel it in your hair. So let's go through the spray. Get that real good. There we go. And, whoops, almost forgot. You also want to start out the first day with dry shampoo. It'll help keep your hair from getting dirty and oily. Give you much better second and third day hair. What I find is my clients overuse a lot of them. Dry shampoo, they come in and I go to do their hair and their hair, their scalp is white. They must spray it too close, use too much. So if you start out on that first day, just using a little, you're much better off. Okay, section. We're gonna make it quick. This is a quick, big curl tutorial. Let's see if we can get it done in less than 10 minutes today. That's what everyone wants, right? Okay, so what I do is I'm gonna curl all the back from this way forward. Because when I get to the top, I like to curl it back and it keeps those curls from sticking together. So you just clamp it in, see how I did it at the root? Bring it out and don't quite curl that bottom, just like that. Pull that tail. Take another section. Forward. And this bottom section really isn't that important, especially since my hair's a little shorter. Just want a little movement. And when I had a shorter bob, I didn't curl it at all. This part. Just made sure when I blow dried it. I used a paddle brush, a round brush. Got it the way I wanted it. There we go. Continue like that. Next section. Here we go. I don't want the sides yet. There we go. I'm going to spray it again. Even this piece right here, right behind my ear. Whoops! I like to do forward. Again, pull those ends kind of straight. Right behind the ear, forward. Out your ear, pull those ends straight. Now, underneath, I'm going to alternate. This middle section of my head, I alternate. Now, this one will go back, and the next one forward. Again, to keep your curls and your waves from sticking together and look like one clumped up curl with no movement. I have my um, iron set to about 410 and I don't want my hair real curly today so I'm not holding those curls in for a very long time. Okay now these two I'm doing forward. This one And now we want to get where we hold it a pretty away from the head, kind of up. See how I'm doing up and pulling it, but getting it nice and close to the scalp so we do get some lift from the root. Let's 
one's going forward too. Hold it out and up. Get the root. The root's where we really want to concentrate. And then bring it down. There we go. Now I'm going to spray this section with my Kenra 25. Lock it in there. Here we go. Section off just that top. Keep that out. There we go. I think I hear my client actually. Okay, now this. Here we go. Hold it away. I actually hear him say my name out there. I thought I saw Johanna. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> She's early. Pull that straighter. There we go. This is going to go back. I'm busy. I'll be right with you. See? <laughs> Pull that down. Yeah, she's happy. Here we go. All right. And I'll pull that down. And then I like to pull these a little straighter because I like the front a little straight. Pull this out. Now I'm gonna spray this a little. Spray it. Okay, and now we're just gonna back home right at the root a little bit there. Now you wanna grab now see how I'm holding it up here, like I go up, because we want lift. I want big curls, but I don't want flat hair. And then just bring this through like that. Straighten that out. Why oh, don't do that to this side? There we go. Okay, now we're gonna grab those pieces in the back. No, this is where I'm making it all go back now. All of it. There we go. Here we go. Let's back home that a little. Let it dry. Hold it up off the head. Get it nice and warm at those ruts. Pull it through. Got a little curl. There we go. Grab this back here. Now this part back here, we wanna hold all the way up, up and away from our head. Make sure those ends are not knotty because you'll curl a knot into your hair. You don't wanna do that. This, hold it up, up and away. direct it off of your head. Hold it, get it nice and hot at that rut. There we go. And then I'm gonna spray them all, especially at this top section with the Kenra 25 as they cool. Really locks it in there. Okay, here we go. Now for the top. This is the way I wanna wear it. Bring it down, spray it again. Okay, now these pieces around my face, you don't like them to go up and back. I like them to go down. So you kind of get it lifted off the root. You don't really curl it 
till you get about right here, drag it through. And then I like to just kind of pull it when I wear it like this. This piece I like to do very last. Now this piece right behind what is a bang, I don't really have a bang, I like to get a little height from here. So just back comb it, spray it, hold it straight up, up off the head, put that iron, let it get warm, heat it up. Again, I don't like to finish out those ends. I just like them a little straighter, so I pull. And then I like to pull that out. There you go. I say there you go a lot. Now grab this hair, same thing. Back comb it. Spray it. You start like this. It nice and hot at that rut, holding it off your head. Now these ends, see I have some layers here so they get shorter. It's harder to keep those a little straighter. There we go. <laughs> I gotta work on my public speaking abilities. Back comb that, spray it. Hold it off your head. Come through. Okay, now these back pieces. I don't have much. I like to hold those up real high. Again, back comb, spray. I like this one to have a little more curls, so I hold it in for a little longer. Helps give me more volume if I have curl from the back of my head. The crown, where it starts rounding. That's where you want the, some volume. And this piece right here, I just slightly smooth, smooth, and take it down. Just kind of like that. You don't want much of a curl there. Okay, so let's go through. And let's spray it one more time. Let, whoops. Sorry. Do this. Just kind of run your fingers through it a little. And then we take the Amica Undone, because I don't want it to look all clumped and up together. I like it looking just wavy, separate. Hold this. Spray it up at the roots. There we go. Now run your fingers through it. Piece it out a little. There we go. And then anywhere you want a little more volume, like I like it in through here, I just kind of grab that comb, this here, this part right here, back comb, run your fingers through it. I have finer hair, so teasing shows. You don't want it to show. There we go. Then just at the end, I take a little mist of Kenra 25. It'll hold it out of my face all day. Hold it up. It'll keep it nice and pieced out. So, all day your hair should hold like this. It should hold great. As long as you have your curling iron set at a high enough heat, like I said, I have finer hair, so I don't have to set it at 450. If you have thick hair, you want to set it a little bit higher um, just to lock that curl in there real good. So there you go. 
that's the end. Uh, hope you like this. I hope it was helpful. Please leave comments, subscribe, and like. Thanks a lot.